Bonjourno YouTube, Trevor here, Summit or Nothing, back today to talk about some more gear. We're coming into winter, so I'm going to start looking through my winter gear. Changing and upgrading. If you're new to Summit or Nothing, please subscribe and ring that bell because I do regular videos out on the trail, hiking, wild camping, plus looking through different gear, tents, and doing quick reviews and looking at budget gear. If you're new to hiking especially and wild camping, then this could be the channel for you. So give us a subscribe, have a look back through the channel and see what you find. Anyway, today I'm going to be talking about my sleeping bags. If you've been following my channel, you'll be aware that I've got two sort of winter bags that I, I use. One is my summer down sleeping bag inside my bivvy with a liner, which I took that out last weekend. You may have seen the video up on Forgeland Ledge, the first really cold weekend since the summer. I was in a single skin tent, but I was cold all night. It wasn't like couldn't feel my toes cold, but it was cold enough that it, was, it wasn't a pleasant experience. So I thought, right, I'm gonna have to do something else because I have been also using the the Van Gogh Latitude 300. It's synthetic. It's it's an average priced sleeping bag. I think you can pick them up for sort of 60, 70 quid. And out of a lot of the winter bags, this actually gets down to a half decent size. It's still big. That is compressed as much as it can. And that usually fills up the bottom third of my rucksack. But a lot of others that you will buy for that sort of price range, you know, you're not gonna get them much smaller than that. So this is the Van Gogh Latitude 300. It's got a comfort rating of zero degrees Celsius. Its limit is minus six, but you could risk the extremes of minus 24, should you so please. And it weighs in at 1.7 kilograms. So it's fairly heavy, but it's not as heavy as the other setup I was telling you about, the bivvy bag, sleeping bag setup. That is a lot smaller as you can tell by this photo but the weight is quite a bit different from one to the other so this is this comes in bigger but lighter should we have a look should we have a look at this first that off the straps now van gogh's a good make you can have a fair lot of confidence with van gogh products to be honest i've not had much bad experiences with them and here's the bag now you can see it's been compressed in there as soon as it comes out it's plentiful that's quite a thick bag it's got a nice hood with a pull cord so you can pull it tight up around your head get nice and comfy and nice and warm and nice and cozy and it is warm and it is cozy what i like about it the zip it's a big old chunky zip which you can use from the inside or the outside it revolves around from inside to out open it up so it's I wouldn't say it's waterproof this one you wouldn't want to get it wet it's made of polyester with uh, as I say a synthetic filling it also includes a internal pocket keep your wallet in there if you like in with you it has been warm it has done me proud I have had a liner in there I haven't tried it this winter but I just fancied a new sleeping bag. Um, I like the down sleeping bags. They do feel a lot warmer and they compress a bit more. So I put up a post the other day. I asked you what you guys use for winter sleeping bags. I got lots of feedback and uh, one name that popped up quite a lot was this one, the OEX Leviathan EV. So it's a down sleeping bag. It's got a fill power of 600, which I think means that you can compress it and it will fill back up. It's quite a lofty one. It's hydrophobic down so that it's, if it gets damp, it still, still does its job. It's 1.3 grams or nearly 1.4. So it's about 300 grams lighter than the Van Gogh Latitude. And don't worry, <laughs> I mean, it does look excessive in size. But this is the loft bag. This is what you keep it in when you're not using it. So it doesn't compress and damage the fibers of the dam. So it's another OEX product. And this one at the moment was on for 
119 pounds in go outdoors with your go outdoors card and because we've got go outdoors just sort of down the road from us i thought i saw it coming up a lot i loved the sound of it for the comfort rating which was a comfort of minus nine degrees a limit of minus 16 and an extreme of minus 38 so i'm going to be warm in this in the winter maybe too warm but i'd rather be warm than sort of go through being that, that cold and uncomfortable so it's definitely a four season sleeping bag which i need one for the himalayas next year anyway so yeah why not get it i thought it does pack down a lot smaller we've got to go outdoors around the corner from us or down the road so i could go in store and actually have a look so i took it out got it in its compression sack compressed it not a lot of difference from that one to that one we'll have a look in a minute but i like new toys let's have a look so we'll get it out and you can feel already it's it, it feels more water resistant than the van Gogh. it's about the same length it's got another hood there with a pull string so you can draw the hood in around you uh what else have we got here there's another zip here what's this for so a little pocket there and then again the zip sort of revolves around so you can use it inside and out now this feels really thick and they, it's because of the, the down feel of it it's uh they say you can really compress it and it will come back to life you know you could carry this in your bag compressed and it will come back a great deal it's not as big a pocket as your van gogh sherpa but then you've got pockets in your tents anyway so i'm going to be proper toasty in this snug as a bug in a rug i'm not going to get in it but i am now going to compress it so let's close it back over look at it be like the stay puff marshmallow man in this we're done with the bag oh it's in the bag so you get the compression sack in there let's get it down squeeze the air as we go Oh, look at it. it inflates as you pock it up i don't often spend so much but um i thought i'd get something decent something that's, that does the trick it's still relatively cheap compared to a lot of the down bags you get out there so i thought it was a reasonable price to sort of take a punt on all right Right, if I get the mango back in its bag, that's uncompressed. I'll compress them both down and we'll see what we can muster. Oh, what I do like about this, it's got the compression straps. They've got clips on, so they're nice and easy to fit over. You then got to fight with the strap. Just clip them on in place, get the lid on square. Then compress, compress, compress. We've got it down to that sort of size. So if that's in the bottom of my bag, I'd say I could fit me, I could fit something down the side of that as well as me sleeping bag there. Let's see how this one compresses. Here we go, there's the two compressed. So that is compacting a little bit more. It is down and it is 300 grams lighter. So there we go, that's my new OEX Leviathan. Looking forward to using it on the trail. Thanks for watching, cheers.